Uncertainty is your friend. The more uncertainty a girl feels with the relationship, the more of your attention, more of her attention she's gonna put on you. Hey guys, Bobby Rio back with Rob Judge. And in today's video, we're gonna talk about that moment. That moment when you've gone out with a girl for a few dates, things were going good, right? You, you guys vibe, she seems to like you, you guys have things in common. Uh, and then you text her and an hour goes by and she didn't respond. And now two hours go by and she hasn't responded. And in the pit of your stomach, right? You just know like something changed and you can't mm. put your finger on it, right? But you just know like something changed. I remember <laughs> it happened to me with, with, with this girl, uh, Chrissy that I was dating and I went out with her a few times. Awesome, right? And she used to always reply right away. Like right away, she'd be like, oh, you know, laughing, LOLs, asking me questions. And first it started with her not responding until the next day. And then she wrote back, oh, sorry, I was busy. And I, I, I had that momentary like release, like, oh, okay, it's, it's all right, you know, she responded. But then her responses dwindled, right? And slowly, I, I, you know, I knew I was getting the slow fade, or what's it called, ghosting? Yeah, yeah, dude, you're like, uh, you're saying it. I'm, I'm getting that feeling in my pit of my stomach, yeah, because I know, I know that feeling all too well. It's just like, you just know, and it's like nothing like you can put your finger on. It's just, just it's almost like, it's like, a, like, a, like a radio waves, or like an antenna, or like something, you just, you just feel that something's wrong. So what happened, right? Because that's the eternal question. And as guys, I know that when it, whatever would happen to me, I would immediately try to find like something I said, I would always, I would blame myself, but in the wrong way. I would blame myself thinking, oh, maybe I didn't show her that I liked her enough, right? Or I would be like, or I would think the other, maybe I said something offensive. Maybe, you know, maybe when I made that joke about, you know, gay people, maybe she has like a gay uncle and it really offended her. And maybe I got to call her up and tell her, hey, you know, I was only joking with that thing that I really, you know, like I always like to think that it was something I said that fucked things up, but it's not, right? No, it's never, it's never really something you said. In fact, a lot of the times it's because you said too much. A lot of the times, at least from what I've seen, is that when girls don't text you back, it's because you've given away, you've tipped your hand so much that she's not really that interested anymore. She's not really uh, wondering what's going on with you because you've made yourself too predictable. Yeah, we always say that if you know the end of a movie, you really have no incentive to watch it, right? And a lot of guys, I know both of us were guilty of this before we started figuring this stuff out, is we want to give her certainty, right? So like within a couple dates, we're already like, uh, you know, planning out future dates. We're talking about things that we're gonna do together. And we're coming across basically as predictable as a children's book. She knows what we want, right? She knows we wanna be her boyfriend. She knows we're angling for a relationship. We, she knows we really like her. And in her mind, it's like, when you, when you know the end of a movie, what do you do, right? If, you're, if you turn a movie on and you know what's gonna happen, you're like, ah, you know what? I can always come back to this later. Let me flip the channels and see if there's anything better. Yeah, I was even gonna say that. I think it goes even deeper than that. I agree with everything you're saying that, you know, when, you, when you're giving that certainty by telling her, oh, I wanna be your boyfriend or I really like you or, oh my God, I haven't, I, I haven't met a girl like you in a long time or anything that, that you're really kind of tipping your hand about how much you like her before you really get to know her, um, that, that's all, you know, absolutely true. But then it goes, I think, even a level deeper where um, if you become predictable in your humor and what you say, even like when you text her, if you're not shaking things up a little bit and keeping her on her toes, and this is why, you know, I, a lot of I'll advise guys to, I'm not gonna say be offensive, but to take the filter off a little bit and be okay joking around with a girl, even if like like Bobby said, like maybe sometimes a joke might be a little a little bit, you know, might seem like, oh, should I say this? Oh, you know, but like if it's something you'd say to your friends and they would find it funny, um, sometimes within within reason, obviously, you know, you don't want to be, you know, joking around with some of some of the stuff I say to my friends. I wouldn't I wouldn't be repeating to women, but here's yeah. A, but here's wait. a little sorry, here's a little yeah. trick that I also recommend, and I always tell guys, and, and it works f fabulous, right? Have you ever been out with a girl? And maybe you, you've, you've gone out with a few dates with her. And then like you go to hang out with her and she's kind of like quiet, right? And she's like, you know, like, she's not like being as friendly and talkative and you start bugging out. You're like, what's going on? Like, you know, and, and you like start like, trying to like make her laugh and trying to get her in a good, and then by the end of the night, you know, she's, she's good and everything's good, right? So I say, do that to her. Like show up on a date one day and be kind of like not really trying that hard and make her wonder like what, you know, why is he, you know, he's kind of quieter today. Did I, 
and she'll start bugging out, right? And a lot of guys are afraid to make a girl bug out. But here's the, like, if I can drill one thing into you that is going to change the way your relationships progress, it's uncertainty is your friend. The more uncertainty a girl feels with the relationship, the more of your attention, more of her attention she's gonna put on you. So basically think about it like this. If she knows you're a sure deal, if she knows that you're an easy catch, if you're a sure thing, her mind starts wondering. She's like, ah, eh, he's there, you know? But if she doesn't know, like, it's kind of like, I always, say, I always say, like, going back to the movies, you ever flip the channel and, and like, some, like, true crime stories on, right? And you watch, like, five minutes of it, and all of a sudden you're like, I need to know what happens, right? That's kind of what it's like. Like, even if she didn't initially like you that much, the uncertainty of what, why is he doing? Like, now she's putting an effort. Now she needs to know. She's got to know what's going to happen. Yeah, and then, you know, the best, you know, true crime shows, the best uh, movies, and the best guys with women are, got, are, are you know, what the three, the three things that those have in common is that there's a lot of twists and turns. You know, the true, the true crime show that would suck, you wouldn't, wouldn't be like, oh, this guy murdered this person and they caught him and it was, you know, an open and shut case. It's always like, oh, they thought it was this guy, but then it turned out it was this guy, but, you know, when this you know, person, there's all these twists and turns. And that's the thing. It's like when she thinks you're going to zig if you zag and you, you, you kind of defy her expectations, um, it's going to give her a, like a, a lot of, like a jolt of good emotion, almost like watching a good movie. And it's going to draw her in and make her wonder and, and, you know, kind of spin the hamster wheel in her head. Like what's going on here? And that's, that's the experience that women want. See, a lot of guys are afraid to give women that, like Bobby said, they're afraid to give women that uncertainty, but that uncertainty is almost like a gift. You're giving her this yeah. experience that she really wants. Yeah. There's a, a scene in a great movie, Swingers, where uh, Vince Vaughn's character goes to Mike. He goes, I want you to be the guy. I don't want you to be the guy in the rated PG-13 movie that everybody's kind of rooting for. I want you to be the guy in the rated R movie where you don't really know where he's coming from, what he wants, you know, what he's after. And that's really the guy you want to be. Women, women may think that PG guy is cute, but they're always going to have that emotional attraction, right? That, that, that strong desire for that rated R guy who she's not quite sure about. So, you know, what Rob and I, you know, what Rob and I did was we kind of reversed engineered things, right? Because we've, we've been teaching now dating advice, um, both of us, uh, over 10 years. And work between our own stuff and our students, we sort of reverse engineering, right? We kind of took, okay, here's the feeling you have where you're completely infatuated with somebody, right? And then we took, we, we reverse engineered it and, and went through all the phases. And we figured out that there was a pretty, uh, I guess it was like a blueprint, right? Yeah. Of creating this feeling. And we designed something that we call the scrambler. And it's really a roadmap that you can follow. Because it's one thing for us to explain this idea of create uncertainty in a video that's you know five minutes long. But how do you do it, right? And that's what the scrambler will explain. And as well as point this out, it's something that you, you kind of said to me, and it really blew my mind. When you, you know, it, as you're checking out the scrambler and, and you know, you, you, you're, you know, considering it, look at it from not just the perspective of I'm going to use this on, you know, this girl I like or the next girl that I really, I'm really attracted to, but also think about it from the perspective of um, the last girl that you really liked, or if you like a girl now and, and, and the way that you ended up becoming so infatuated with her and where, where, where she's on your mind, you're Googling stuff about her, you can't stop thinking about her. Look at what she did in terms of the scrambler. Cause a lot of the times what, what one thing a lot of guys realize is that, holy shit, this girl, you know, inadvertently use some, some elements of the scrambler on me. And that's why I can't get this girl out of my mind. Yeah. It's one of the funny conversations I always have with my coaching clients is they'll, they'll say, one of the things always, they always say is she wasn't even my type, but then mm -hmm. I go, then she ran the fucking scrambler yeah, on you yeah. and she, you get, you got, she got you all obsessed with her and that's what, you know, that's what the scrambler does. So there's a video below. It's a little longer than this one. It walks you through what the scrambler is, why it's so effective, and how you can use it to get a female friend to fall for you. If you've got a girl that you were dating and she's kind of losing interest and you want to get the power back, right? You want her into you again, you can use it for that. If there's a girl in your work, right? And you just have a little crush on her and you want to get her, you know, into you before you take that, because nobody wants to ask a girl out from work uh, when and, there's and a chance you're going to get yeah. rejected, right? You want to make sure you're in. So the scrambler will set that up for you, right? It's all the mind games, all the things that will get her thinking about you when you're not around falling for you. So it kind of takes the risk out of it. So the video below walks you through a little bit more in depth. Check